hey guys i welcome you in this wonderful video so there is something interesting that i want to address ne? so usually as traders we tend uh to ignore a lot of clear opportunities ne? we tend to ignore a lot of clear opportunities and we always go for those opportunities which are complicated ne? and that's that's not a surprise because as traders we love to analyze ne? a lot of traders they love to analyze the market so that kind of analysis it leads them to ignore simple opportunities ne? and they go only for those ones which are complicated and those opportunities which are not likely to be profitable ne? so let's make an example with this scenario here ne? we can see that uh here this small move ne? i'm just gonna pay attention into this small move so this part of what i'm gonna talk about ne? that we should make sure that the way you analyze the market is is so uh limited to what you actually need ne? so we're gonna pay attention into this scenario where we had the market going all the way down starting from there and we have uh other two confirmations so we begin it from there we have the next touch and then we have the third touch ne? meaning it is going down not just only on the upper side but even if we tend to extend on the downside we see that it is forming some some kind of a channel ne? it is forming some kind of a channel and you will have scenarios where the market is behaving like this in the market ne? where it is clear that it is a selling signal but traders will panic why because it is too obvious ne? because it is too obvious and we have lessons which encourages us to avoid the obvious but you need to know that for you to be profitable when it comes to trading you have to pay attention into the simple stuff ne? you don't need to complicate your, your 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 trading and say no i have to make sure that i pay attention because the price bounced in the in the support level for an example here it bounced in the support level so it is likely to give me some kind of a breakout all the way to the upside no you don't have to pay that much much attention into that why because it has it haven't been revealed yet ne? this is what you have to keep in mind it haven't been revealed yet you should pay attention to what the market is currently telling you ne? so meaning you will only pay attention into this theory of the market breaking out going to the upper side only when you see that this channel is now disobeyed what am i talking about ne? for now we can see that we have a high let me just use a little bit of a bright color and a little bit of a thicker line now we have a high ne, which is was our initial high in this trend line and then we have the second one and then we have the third one ne. so we have three highs and the highs they become lower they become lower and lower and then we have the lows ne, we have this one which is a low and we have the next one which is a low again and they become lower meaning it's lower lows so as long as the market is giving you lower lows and lower highs it means that you look this market as a seller because it hasn't told you anything about the bias for now because the strength is on the side of the sellers ne? and as a trader ne, if you are an intraday trader let's say you're just targeting to hold trade for the next few hours there isn't need for you to look at everything that has been happening uh, uh last year starting there that what happened there and what happened all the way there and what happened there that you had a breakout and so on there is no need for you to pay attention into all this stuff ne? what you are predicting the market for you are predicting the market for the next few hours ne? so it is always significant or it is always helpful and a little bit simple when you look at the market on what happened maybe in the previous few days three or four days ago or maybe few hours ago but not more like there's no need for you to examine what has been happening last month if you're only going to be predicting for the next few hours you're just uh exaggerating yourself with huge amount of data which won't be helpful but it will just minister confusion until uh your analysis so make sure that you keep things simple guys if you observe something like this although it might not work no although it might the market might go down and then start going up without going all the way to where you were targeting say maybe you're targeting down here it might not work that's that's the nature of trading we don't make money because we know how to predict or how to focus we make money because we know how to manage risk and have a good uh risk reward ratio so that's what you should keep in mind make sure that you limit your analysis into the most fundamental or simple uh 
observations ne? make sure that you don't look so much on previous data that you do not need ne? focus on what is happening now do you do, have you observed that i didn't even pay attention that the market has been moving in a trend for quite some time but i paid attention into this that i needed ne? because if then i paid attention into what it has been doing previously it was gonna add it was gonna add even more stress to even consider these lows that were happening here and extending everything and thinking that okay that's what's gonna happen yes this might work ne? if you're analyzing for the bigger picture this might work but if you're analyzing for just few hours you know that you just only need three kangles to work on your favor ne? and if you don't pay attention into those three or next five kangles that you need to make money then you're gonna be waiting and even when the market goes to let me just indicate to this era that you anticipate to this era here ne, you know that if you took this as a sell you're gonna make money because you know we all know that okay this era might influence the market but we don't pay attention much into it for now because it's gonna take time for price to approach that level it's gonna take up to a day or up to uh, two days to just try to reach that area down there ne, depending on how slow it moves ne. so I hope that is making sense. Make sure, guys, that you just don't ignore the simple things. Pay attention into those simple uh, patterns that you observe. And then those are the patterns that are going to help you make profits into your trading. So thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.